All right, here is another video I thought I should get to you guys, um, since I haven't put one up in a little bit. But uh, I was hoping to get up something cooler than this, but I couldn't really do that because my Dremel broke. But I'll send that into Dremel and get that repaired. Um, but anyhow, this I just decided to do because I had nothing better to do today, and it actually turned out pretty cool. Um, first off, this dart looks like a slug dart. That's a lot different because it has um, just the little felt pad here and no weight. And the reason I did that is because I don't want it to shoot really far and it also shows um, how the spin of a rifle barrel works on this dart a lot better. So first off, we have two barrels. One that is smooth bore and can see it's smooth in there versus this barrel which you can kind of see is whoop, rifled in there um, and I'll put a link in the video at the end um, to where I, I learned how to do this some other guy I learned it from him and I kind of adapted his method and changed it a little so first off, set you guys right here, and just a little, and we're going to start off with the rifle barrel. So put the dart in there, put it in my night finder. The night finder is just a coupler mod and a K26 spring edition, so nothing too big. So I'm shooting, I'm right above the camera, and you should see this. I'm aiming pretty much center in the frame. So, here's the first shot. As you see, that went pretty straight, but it tumbled a little, but that's normal for a non-weighted dart. And I'll do a second test of that here. I'll take this barrel out real quick. And, all right, here's the second shot, right above. And there you go again. Use your dart. And now, we're going to try it with a smooth bore barrel. And see the difference. Now, I'm not sure if, if this will even be in the frame because it's pretty sporadic, but we'll see about it. Nope. It shot up, did a curve, and then dropped right in the center. I don't know if that can be seen. So we'll try it again. So that was a very interesting shot. I highly doubt you'd hit anybody with that because that was just ridiculous. Try it again here. Once again, aiming in the same spot. And it kind of did the curve again. So the difference between these two barrels is both times on the smooth bore, it kind of went crazy, spun, and kind of did its own thing. But on the rifle barrel, it went straighter. So that way it works. I want to grab this real quick. Um, so that way it works a lot better. I also tested this with a weighted dart. Um, and it just a normal slug dart, or dart, excuse me. It it got uh, about five to ten feet approximately. I didn't measure because it was snowing out and I didn't have too much time to spare. Um, but anyhow, it got about five to ten feet more than a smooth bore barrel with the rifle barrel. Um, so I'm not going to release anything more about the rifle barrels, like a tutorial or anything, until I play around with it a little more and I'm happy with it. But there you have it, that's a rifled nerf barrel.